<sighs> okay, I'm here in the garage again. I'm trying to use the flattening and surfacing wizard on the black box. <clears throat> I'm not having much luck. I have never seen a video where someone goes through it. So I'm going to just let you know what I've found this in the last couple of days. Uh, so number one, we finished the Queen Bee build. I had to rebuild the uh, surface, the flat, the spoil board. So I want to tram it because I made it, made a small project. Let me show you that. See this border? This tells me my surface is not flat. Uh, so, obviously, it was trammed. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is experiment and see if I can get this working. Uh, I've got a, a board here that is uh, a practice board. I want to see if I can make this work on this, uh, this piece of MDF. And we will uh, see what happens then. Hope you enjoy this. So I hope this is uh, informative for you. I was told that you started the surfacing where you home the machine. I home my machine at the right rear of the machine, back by the stepper motors. That is wrong. So what I've found is, of course, you have to home your machine so the machine knows where it's at. And then I brought it clear to the front, to the left side, to start the surfacing. Just a note here. I ordered this uh, machine from Bulkman in China, and it's been a very, it's been a great machine. I could not get Mach 3 to work on this. I, I was sent a bad breakout board, I found out, but I ordered the black box and I uh, really like it. I do have a machine that uses Mach 3. I think the this more modern interface is much better. So here I've uh, taken a small piece of uh, MDF and clamped it down, and this is a proof of concept. I'm just making sure that the program is running properly, and as you can see, it is. I have. Uh, there's a pocket there that I tried doing on VCarb Pro, and which it went too deep. But uh, so anyway, this is the skim uh, .05 with the uh, Open Builds Control software and their surfacing and flattening wizard. I'm not going to subject you to. The whole thing so I'm going to speed it up but uh, this gives you an idea. So here you can see this is very flat. It's a very good uh, surface to work on. I am uh, really pleased with this. Now not everyone will be able to do this. Let me zoom in here. Because of the way I have my uh, 
my CNC setup, I'm going to overhang that bit about three-eighths of an inch over the end. And I'm going to see if this will work. Zoom out here so we can see everything. All right, let's see how this is going to do. So I've set this up about three quarters of an inch above the, the surface here. I am waiting for a bigger bit that I ordered to get here. So, anyway, this is going very well. However, it's moving so fine. slow, I'm going to speed this up. Uh, anyway, so it seems that I've got this dialed in and I'm pretty happy with it. So this is, like I said, a proof of concept. This is a picture of the screen, and then this is a uh, shot of the actual surfacing wizard. Uh, it's hard to see there. My machine is 1500 by uh, 1000. I'm using 778 by 1219. Uh, I'm skimming 0 0.05 millimeters and you should be able to get the rest out of that hope you enjoyed this i hope it was uh worth your watching thanks